Welcome to the next installment of Scatter Scratch. Uh, D here, and I just wanted to take a second here. The inspirations for these things come from all over the place. Now, granted, I'm a little crazy when it comes to Necrobunda stuff. Uh, the game, the terrain, I don't know if you figured it out or not, but yeah, I'm kind of taken with it. But uh, it, like I said, inspiration comes from all different places. This time, uh, we're going to do the slopper, and the inspiration that came from this was a podcast, uh, the Underhive Lore Keepers. Uh, my friend Spamuel and his buddy Nate, they do this, and they basically just talk Necromunda lore. There's a lot of it, and they're going to be going for a while. Um, it all sparked from ash sump clams, um, crazily enough. We got a lot of really old terrain going in this and a little bit of new um, there's very little Games Workshop stuff going on this one. This is actually a little bit closer to a full scratch build. Anyways, um, let's get into it. Yeah, here's the Underhive Lore Keepers podcast. Another little trick with you. Subscribe there. Alright, we've got stop motion again. This is a 20 plus year old piece uh, where we were still learning that, uh, you know, spray adhesive doesn't work on pink foam. You know, a pipe, a little bit of a crawling up area and a little stand, not too much. So yeah, the slopper is in pretty much every book there is. I got this one out of the book of the outcast. Um, yeah, uh, didn't feel this one needed a full on spray prime. Uh, it's a great thing about this concept that I've come up with, you know, you, the bottom part, you know, needed a little bit, but I figured I don't even need to, don't even need to spray. Yeah, here's the slopper again, uh, page 48, although it's different pages in every one of the gang books. And yeah, basically just a couple of, uh, greens that I'm going to be wet blending. Um, yeah, we'll come back in a little bit here. Okay, so we're just gonna be using some GW washes here. Real simple, going in the dark spots. Um, you know, just to enhance a little bit. It doesn't need very much. Um, a lot of people overdo it on this, but yeah, it's I'm targeting very specific low areas with uh, little GW washes there. Um, make the green or the uh, sun clams look good and we're pretty much done. Okay, here we go. Um, got a full resin pour here. This is the UV resin. Uh, There's a lot of it too, so I ended up using my big 150 watt UV light to cure all this. Uh, this process took about a half an hour. Um, after this, we're gonna be using some AK enamels, uh, some fuel stains, and uh, I got a, a glowing green. Uh, add a couple posters, a little bit of graffiti, not too much needed on this one. Uh, the green glowing effect is going to be Tesseract Glow thinned way down so you can uh, see what looks like the bottom. Um, and then, you know, we'll see you here at the end.
Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Once again, big thanks to the Underhive Lore Keepers podcast. You should check them out. Just so much fun doing this stuff. Um, Well, we'll see you again when I do the next one. Have a great night.